you're looking to buy Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFAcointrader.com for a fast, reliable service. What's up guys, Gillis here bringing another Team of Season player review and this time it's Mathieu Valbuena, the French attacking midfielder who plays for Marseille. I've reviewed his second in form and nicknamed him the French Messi, that's how impressed I was with him and converted him to striker. So I've done the same with his Team of the Season card and I thought it'd be absolutely insane. So there's the team I played him in, he's 5 foot 6, he's right footed, he's got a 3 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, He sent back 220k but his price has dropped and he's played 11 games for me and managed to score me 15 goals. So how has he improved from his upgraded card that was released? Well his pace has gone up by 5, his defense Defending by 6, his dribbling and heading both by 7, his shooting by 8 and the biggest increase has been in his passing that has gone up by 10. So how does that impact on his in-game stats? And as with the majority of the team in the season players, the stats certainly aren't disappointing. There's lots of green on there. Standouts being 99 crossing, 93 curve, 92 dribbling, 94 long pass and 90 long shots. He's very short at 5 foot 6 and also he's very light at 128 pounds. He can play as a right wing or left wing or a centre attacking mid. He's got a high attacking work rate and low defensive work rate. He's got the maximum for agility, balance and reactions and almost the maximum at 98 acceleration. However, he's only got 37 strength. So he's only gone up by 3 strength from his second in form card. So to be an effective forward in this game, you need to have certain attributes, you need to be quick, you need to also have decent dribbling, you need to have a decent shot and preferably a decent weak foot as well. And also good passing is also a great attribute to have and this guy has all of them in abundance and more. I nicknamed his second in form the French Messi and this guy certainly has not disappointed and he's had significant upgrades from that second in form card and now he's even more amazing than he was prior. Literally his dribbling is his biggest asset and it's absolutely insane. He can just weave in and out of defenders. They've got no chance he'll just leave them for dead they can't get any way near him and then he's got the ability to put the shot in when needed his finishing has been much improved as well he now misses less chances than he did previously and he's able to score goals in whatever position it was it said he had a three star weak foot I ended up scoring almost more goals with his weak foot than I did with his right foot but look at that finish there with the outside of the right foot absolutely outstanding he's got such amazing technique as well and the thing is as well he's got amazing agility balance and reactions which just means he's just so quick so if he gets nudged off the ball he's able to get up straight away quickly and able to hold on to that ball as well once he's got it at his feet he's lightning fast and he's got awesome acceleration in the game outstanding how quick he is off the mark and basically he's also got the speed dribbler trait as well so you combine all those assets and literally he's just unplayable in certain positions and he's just so quick on the ball that a sluggish defender will just have no chance against him he'll just nip in there rub the ball off him and be able to create a chance for you he's obviously going to be decent playing deeper as a center attacking mid or a center forward but for me i found him more of an asset as high up the pitch as possible just so I could let him taunt those centre backs and tease them all day long and make them look stupid. He also has a fantastic range of passing for those who play him as a centre attacking mid or deeper and you'll be able to pick out long passes and have amazing crossing as well to distribute to other players. I didn't really use him as that because I was mainly like just obsessed with his dribbling. He's so unreal with his dribbling. You will understand as soon as you use him just how good he is on the ball and you probably won't want to do anything else with him. It's that amazing. Was there anything that I didn't like about him? There's just a small thing. He's not the tallest. Well, he's never going to be at five foot six. And also his strength. They upgraded it by three, but when it's 34 to start with, then there's no real point in upgrading it, to be honest. And if he's off the ball, that's the key thing. Off the ball, he's very weak and you'll get pushed off a defender. However, on the ball, he's very strong with his agility, balance and reactions, which just means he holds onto that ball effectively. So let's review overall. The good things are he's got lightning fast acceleration, he's so quick off the mark, he'll leave those defenders for dead. He's also got clinical finishing when you need it, he's able to take those chances even with his 3 star weak foot, I found it much better, more like 4 or even 5 star. He's got absolutely insane dribbling and agility and balance and just able to hold onto that ball and leave those defenders and weave in and out and make them look stupid. And also he's got fantastic range of passing if you want to play him deeper. He's got perfect work rates, high attacking and low defensive work rate. Were there any negatives? And he's weak when he's off the ball, not on it and also he's not the tallest if you want to play him up as a striker. However, his other attributes mean he is absolutely awesome in that position so that's it guys i give him a 9.6 out of 10 he is better than the second in form but there are things that make him not get the maximum score so that's it guys if you like this review leave a like below comment subscribe and thanks for watching